my lovable friends, I hope you're doing great. In today's video, we're going to talk about another topic, which is quite important because if you haven't worked on that, you might uh, be shocked and it might take you by surprise. So the better to be prepared than to be surprised. So the topic of today is genetic engineering. And I'm going to give you the most important um, phrases and um, ideas about this uh, topic so that you will be totally prepared for this topic and such related topics. But before getting started, have you subscribed to the channel? If you haven't, please do so because uh, of course, I will be much more motivated to see uh, more friends on board uh, so that I can produce uh, more content for you. Thank you so much. And let's get started. Positives of genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is the practice of manipulating the genes of an organism. So here you have the definition of the genetic engineering. So genetic engineering is the practice of manipulating changing something in order to take advantage of that the genes of an organ organism so you change the structure of something in order to make it much more beneficial for yourself it is used to produce crops that are more resistant to insects and diseases it is used to it's a passive structure it is used to produce crops um, like different kinds of ingredients uh, on um, different kinds of uh, products, like um, mostly uh, farming products that are more resident, resistant to insects and diseases. Resistant, so th these are very hard uh, to insects and diseases, meaning that they have a better lifespan. They are much more stronger. Some genetically modified crops grow more quickly, and sometimes it is uh, the fact that uh, people do that or producers do that because uh, they can earn money uh, much more faster compared to the naturally grown produce. Some drugs and uh, vaccines are produced by genetic engineering, are produced. So here you have another way of uh, using the passive format. Some drugs and vaccines are produced by it may become possible to change humans' genetics characteristics. It may become possible. So here you're showing the probability, the, the possibility of something. And uh, that's why we have used may, showing that kind of a likelihood. Scientists may use genetic engineering to cure diseases. May use. Inherited illnesses would no longer exist. Inherited illnesses. Inherited illnesses are about those kind of diseases, uh, which actually are passed from the parent to uh, the next generation, the child, or from, for example, the grandparents to the grandkids. Genes could be changed into before a baby is born. So before the having uh, before having the baby uh, born. Uh, you can definitely just do different kinds of things in order to resolve the issue with your gene. So that's why we can say genes it could be changed before a baby is born. It could also be possible to clone human organs. So clone. Nowadays, we have voice cloning. That um, There are different kinds of AI uh, platforms or applications uh, with the help of which you can clone your own voice, meaning that you can just have the sample taken and then you can have different kinds of uh, uh, let's say scripts uh, given to the AI and they can use your voice and clone it or sometimes you can do it with other people's voice especially celebrities and that can be so useful and of course very scary at the same time but here we are talking about cloning the human organ it means that you can produce and you can create human organs as if they are real we could all have replacement body parts. So if there is something wrong with one of your uh, body parts or organs, uh, organ, you can definitely just have another spur. So that is very scary, but very cool at the same time. Now, let's talk about uh, the next, um, yeah, the next idea. Humans could live longer, healthier lives. So with the help of uh, these kind of changes and transformation, humans could live longer because if you have another spare part or if you have another 
organ, replace your faulty one, you can have a better life. You can live a longer, healthier life. But as always, uh, we have to talk about the other negative points of uh, the topic as well. So negatives of genetic, uh, genetic engineering. There are ethical concerns about human genetic engineering. Ethical. Ethical is like moral. So some people think that it is not okay to do that because you are changing the nature's um, standard and framework. And that's why it is regarded to be immoral from many people's points of views and many religious points of views as well. Parents might want to choose their children's characteristics. So that way, when you've got the ability to choose the things for your baby, you might want to choose different kinds of things for your baby, like um, just let's say appearance, having blue eyes, black eyes, like that, and of course personality traits as well. This would be unnatural. This would be unnatural. It would be unacceptable in most religion, as I said. So in most religion, it is not uh, going to be accepted at all. Soldiers could be cloned from the genes of the strongest people. So instead of having some weak people in the army, you can just choose the strongest ones and have them cloned. Clones might be used like robots to do certain jobs. So as if they are robots, they can be chosen and they can be given different kinds of tasks and responsibilities in order to make human lives way more convenient and easier. Um, Clones might even be developed just for organ replacements. So this is another possibility. Might even be developed. So we have the passive format with the help of might, showing the uh, possibility. Society and human evolution would change completely. So if we start doing these kind of things, everything like human evolution and society will be under a lot of uh, sudden and abrupt and huge changes. Currently, human genetic engineering is prohibited. So as far as we are concerned, it is prohibited. Maybe there are different kinds of, let's say, uh, hidden places where some people, some scientists, or maybe even some uh, governments practice them, but they are not open to the public and uh, they are not publicly advertised so far. My friends, so this is about today's video, but we will definitely continue this topic for the next upcoming video. If you haven't subscribed, do not forget to subscribe in order to get the most of the next videos as well. Thank you so much. See you soon.